Hello everyone, and welcome to the first Teplastorm Wild Meta Snapshot Breakdown for Saviors of Uldum. The new expansion has turned the Wild Meta on its head, as the players have wholeheartedly embraced its powerful new cards. With so many cool new cards and much experimentation going on, the established players of the format have taken a back seat in terms of popularity. In their place, we're seeing a revival of archetypes that have been on the margins of viability for ages. The Wild Meta is in flux, now more than ever. So join our Wild Meta experts as we take an early look at the saviors of Uldu Meta. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Tempo Storm news and Hearthstone content. Now, let's get started. Aside from all the experimentation with new cards and archetypes, there are two major developments that are setting the stage for the post-saviors meta. The rise of Secret Mage, and the addition of Zephyrus the Great to the Reno archetypes. First, let's go over the brightest star of the early Uldu meta, Secret Mage. It's a classic archetype, previously defined by its early tempo minions, disruptive secrets, and face damage spells fueled by Aluneth to close games out. While this mage deck was previously forced out of the meta by board-centric aggro decks, Saviors of Uldum includes new defensive cards to help the mage gain control of the board, such as Flame Ward, Arcane Flak Mage, and Cloud Prince. Secret Mage is currently the most played deck on the Wild Ladder due to these changes. Our Wild experts have tentatively placed the deck at the top of Tier 2 for now, and we'll definitely be keeping an eye on this deck as the meta develops. Next up, Zephyrus the Great is arguably the most interesting card from Saviors of Uldum, and its unique battle cry to discover a card tailored to the game state has proven to be extremely powerful. In Wild, no duplicate style decks have long been staple parts of the meta thanks to the power of Reno Jackson and Kazakus, and the allure of Zephyrus the Great has inspired wild players to bring Reno decks back to the center stage. In particular, Reno Mage and Reno Lock have seen the biggest rise in play rates and are proving to be the most effective Reno decks on ladder in these early days. For Reno Mage, the addition of Flame Ward, Karatut Defender, and Reno the Relicologist are a vast improvement to Mage's defensive suite, giving it the tools it needs to survive to the late game and to get Frostless Jaina online. For Reno Lock, Saviors of Uldum adds Expired Merchant to the mix, allowing you to double up on late game cards like Bloody Vuguldan and Nazoth the Corrupter. Both Reno Mage and Reno Lock are known for being flexible and accommodating of tech options, so in an unsettled meta, it will likely be some time before optimalists are found. But in the meantime, our experts are placing these decks both firmly in Tier 2. Now, let's get right into Tier 1. What about the best decks from the previous expansion? While Secret Mage, Reno Mage, and Reno Lock have jumped in popularity, the established top decks are still around and still well-tuned after months of revision. The Tier 1 decks of this snapshot are being placed based on their dominance and power against undertuned archetypes, and are excellent choices for taking advantage of this young meta. First up is Odd Rogue, which is still going for the throat with its aggressive curve and board-dominating hero power. So far, Odd Rogue has not adopted any new cards from Saviors of Uldum, but the Pirate Package is still very strong for taking early control of the board, and Magic Carpet, Dark Iron Skulker, and Vile Spine Slayer give the Rogue the tools to keep it. Thanks to Evil Miscreant, Snip Snap, and Corridor Creeper, the Rogue is equipped to persist after waves of removal and Lothab remains as powerful as ever. Odd Rogue lists may still need to adjust against Secret Mage and the Reno decks, but for right now, Odd Rogue is well poised to take advantage of undertuned decks in the early meta. Next up in Tier 1, Even Shaman is still the king of mid-range aggro decks, and is still a stable choice in this turbulent meta. Saviors of Uldum has been very kind to Even Shaman, with Vecina being the most successful of the new cards to be adopted. Almost like a walking bloodlust, Vecina's buffs increase the Shaman's late game reach and turn even the lowliest of totems into reasonable threats. Other developments include Sandstorm Elemental as an alternative to Maelstrom Portal that enables overload synergies, and Evil Totem giving the Even Shaman access to the power of lackeys. Even with these changes, Even Shaman is still doing Even Shaman things, playing strong minions ahead of Curve, and featuring over-the-top burn to close games and devolve as an ace-in-the-hole removal. Routing out Tier 1, we have Quest Mage, the boogeyman of the pre-Saviors meta. Like Odd Rogue, Quest Mage hasn't received any significant cards from the new set, but it's still a force to be reckoned with. Its combos with Sorcerer's Apprentice and cheap spells to fuel Flame Waker, Mana Cyclone, and Open the Waygate 
are still capable of producing massive damage and pulling winds out of nowhere. Quest Mage has a rough time against the newcomer Secret Mage due to its secret-based disruption and fast damage, but it does very well against the new Reno decks, and is a strong choice against Undertune decks. The addition of Flame Ward to the pull of Mage cards that can be generated by Mana Cyclone and Primordial Glyph is sure to be a clutch pull to shore up aggro matchups as well. Never count out RNG as a win condition in a game of Hearthstone. Our picks for Tier 2 are established decks that are still strong but haven't seen any major changes, and whose relevance in the new meta is still to be seen. In this video, we'll highlight two Tier 2 decks whose position in the meta has been weakened by the rise of the Secret Mage and Reno decks. Odd Paladin leads the charge in Tier 2, and its combination of persistent token generation and AoE buffs is still capable of dominating the board and rushing down Undertune decks. However, Odd Paladin may not be the best choice to queue in a meta with so many removal options to stave off Paladin's aggression. Even Secret Mage, which is traditionally a great matchup for the Paladin, has access to AoE removal after Saviors of Uldum, helping it keep the board clear against Silverhand recruits. Don't count Odd Paladin out though, as it's still one of the most consistent decks to play in Wild, and it may return to relevance as the meta settles down. Finally, we have Big Priest. Big Priest still contains some of the most powerful interactions in Hearthstone, with Barnes and Shadow Essence giving you early access to massive minions to combo with the Priest's Resurrection cards. Even though Big Priest has received some toys from Saviors of Doom, the overwhelming popularity of Secret Mage makes it a very hostile meta for Priest, since Secret Mage is classically one of Big Priest's worst matchups. Despite having this as a bad matchup, Big Priest is strong enough that it may rise once again. In conclusion, Saviors of Doom has sparked a wave of change in the wild meta, with the improved Secret Mage, Reno Mage, and Reno Warlock decks seeing massive spikes in play, and the established decks scrambling to adjust. Even with these changes, the Saviors meta is still very new, and the dust has yet to settle. We are still seeing experimentation with other new archetypes as well. And there's still tons of new cards with Saviors of Doom left to be explored, so we're sure to see even more shakeups as the meta develops. As always, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel to keep an eye on wild developments, and let us know in the comments below where you think the wild meta will end up next. Thanks for watching.